This spike in numbers is having an impact on the much anticipated opening of St. Pete's most long awaited attraction. Certainly, once we get past the pandemic and you know people are more comfortable coming out in, in larger numbers, we wouldn't be surprised to see a million people a year visit. After years of construction, the grand opening for the new St. Pete Pier is set for tomorrow afternoon. There will be coronavirus safety precautions in place. It on your size, Justin Shecker has more details for us tonight from St. Petersburg. Like the mayor said, Rod, the hope is that this will become a main attraction with a major economic impact. A mask is required while inside any of the restaurants, and the city is encouraging you to wear one while outside exploring the new pier. The wait is finally over. Couldn't be a better step forward for the city of St. Pete. Eight on your side, giving you a first look at the spectacular view of the skyline from the new pier head. The structure here that we're standing on, there's no columns if you look around. The Spa Beach Bistro is one of several dining options. Tanner Enoch is the general manager. Who wouldn't want to be on this pier? I mean, the second we heard that the city of St. Pete was building a brand new pier, we were right there with pen and paper trying to get in line to, to be a part of it. For families, there's a million dollar playground to go along with the splash pad and so much more. There's some amazing pieces of public art from uh, the origami pelican behind me to, the, of course, the Eckelman piece, which lights up at night. The total price tag for the project, $92 million. If we, if we were doing it today, I'd hate to see what the price tag would be because I think it'd be a whole lot more than that. Mayor Rick Kreisman tells Eight on Your Side he believes this new pier district won't just be a tourist destination. I think this is going to be a place where locals are going to hang out. I think this is going to be our central park. Along the pier, there are reminders to keep your distance. The pandemic postponed the opening that had been set for the end of May. This week, visitors need to make a reservation, and the city is limiting capacity to 50%, which is 10,000 people per day. So we expected a lot of uh, excitement, and that's why we wanted to make sure we don't overwhelm it in this time of uh, COVID. And if you're coming down to the pier this week, don't forget to have your reservation on your phone or print it out. The pier opens tomorrow afternoon at 5.30 and then 9 a.m. the rest of the week. In St. Petersburg, I'm Justin Shecker, 8 on your side.